Okay, this tutorial is going to be a little tricky. It has to do with uh, column spans and row spans. And as you notice here, I have all my columns laid out. I'm going to click Save Changes, and I'm going to refresh here. And you'll notice I have I'm targeted with CSS in my blue, so you can see the changes from my uh, uh, my rows. My first row is blue. The other two are pink. Okay, because that's the background of my whole table's pink, but I've made the first column blue. Now, what you need to understand is uh, the the way this column span works. Column span commands affect each column. Row spans affect the rows. But whenever you put in the row span, it'll uh, it'll come down on like so. Like uh, if I put row span in this box in this box that blue would come down and connect all of them okay so I'm gonna do that so you can see that so the, one of the things that you need to keep in mind you cannot use the column span and table press in the top row okay you can only use them below so here we go with row span I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna put it here okay now let me show you what happens I'm gonna click save changes I'm going to go back, I'm going to refresh, and you'll see now it connected them rows. Okay, now they're all in the same column, but they connected the rows. All right, now it, let's put a picture right here in the middle for, so we can have some type of real life application here. And let me hit insert image, and maybe we'll grab this one of the money, and you'll see that the code is in there. Now I'm just going to click Save Changes so you can see this. Let me refresh. And you can see there's a picture of me holding some money. And so now let me go and let's say that I wanted this blue to come down through here. Okay. So what I would do is I'd go back to my table and I want, maybe I want the blue to come down. So I'd hit Row Span here, Row Span here, and connect those rows. I'll go down here, I'll click Save Changes, come back here and click Refresh. Okay, now that connected them rows. Now notice this one here is is still separate. It's not connected to anything, okay? But now let's say that I wanted uh, this block and this bottom block over here connected side by side. Remember, uh, the row spans connect up and down, the columns connect left and right. So I'm going to try make this little block here pink. So I'm going to do a column span here down at this last one. Okay, so let me grab column span. Okay, and I'm going to re replace this with that one there. I'm going to click Save Changes, Refresh, and you'll see that now these columns are connected. See, this column and this column are now connected. All right, and that's the tutorial on using column span and row span. So I hope this is able to help clarify some things on column span and row span. I know it's a little bit complicated, but you play around with those things like I did, and you'll get the idea. Thanks.